Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Microsoft Power Tools where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your table in Excel directly to SharePoint list. So how you can create a SharePoint list from the data that you have in Excel. In case you want to migrate some of your Excel data to SharePoint list, this video will be very helpful. Kindly note that you can also create SharePoint list directly from an Excel file take for example by going to this new and clicking on list you'll be able to either create list from blank from an excel or from its existing list so you can use this to import the table also note that your data must be in table format within the excel sheet all right so i'm going to demonstrate both method first how do you upload it right here from excel and also how do you export the data to SharePoint list directly from Excel. Let's go back to the Excel sample that we have. This is the sample data downloaded online. It is in Excel. Remember, if your data is in CSV, you have to save it first as an Excel file, an Excel workbook. And the next thing is to convert it to a table. It can only read a table and not just an Excel table full of data. So I'm going to select any cell and then Control A to select all the ranges where there are values convert to table by formatting as table you can use any of this format i'm just going to use this one as my favorite and because there are columns need the header the first row is the header so i'm going to select my table as header so i'm going to click on ok which is now formatted as table then you will see it's table one i'm going, going to call this says table so this says table i've renamed it to says table i'm going to also save it's saved now i'm going to close so let's go back and export from Excel. I'm going to click on from Excel. It's opening my folder. You're going to open my desktop where I kept the file. Then you're going to see says data Excel. That's the file. I'm going to click on OK. It's going to load and load the table. All right, awesome. So it has loaded the table. I have it here. Kindly note that the date column is not seen as date. It has formatted it to boy. If I click on date, you can see that I can later change the format. But actually, it is date and time. Other things here, these are invoice number. If there's anyone that needs to be same number, you will see maybe it's in test. Okay, there are numbers. Okay, everything seems to be fine. I'm going to click on next. And you have to label it. I'm going to call it says table one. Let's just call it says table one because we're going to learn how to recreate this thing from SharePoint, uh, from Excel as well. Click on create automatically it's going to then import our data and create this sales table as a list import our data as well all right do you see automatically it has imported that table and we have everything right here we have the date the title has been turned to the, the invoice id is now the title and we have all the other columns that we need you can always create additional columns from here the step two is to create this table directly from Excel. I'm going to open up Excel data, that same data. And while I'm still on that table, don't click outside it. While on it, I'm going to go to search and click on and search for export, export data, export table to SharePoint list. And that's what we want to do. So the next thing, where is the address? I'm just going to go back to my browser and locate the list address. Remember, don't take this table just start from this list this is the address for the list so i'm going to copy it and right here i'm going to paste it all right so i'm going to um yeah see on <laughs> rather than list i'm going to make it just uh, the training which is the site actually it, actually the site you are connected to not a particular list so i'm, I'm creating sales table from excel okay so i'm going to click on next so it's just showing me the columns that I have right here. I'm going to click on finish. So you can see right here is connected is adding the records. What I have to do now, the record have been added. I'm just going to go back here. You might not see that table at the left hand side there because you did. There's no option to include it. I'm just going to click on site content. You will see that table already that list rather already created inside. This is it sales table from excel you can see it only has 426 as up now meanwhile the sales table one has 3465 so we expect it to get to 3465 if i refresh right now because it's been added you see that it has moved from that 426 to something wow 866 i'm going to leave it for just a few seconds and you see that the table is done 
And you can also monitor your progress by coming back to this Excel. You will see adding records to the list. Let's wait and see it and see the you know, being completed. Wow. As you can see, the table was successfully published and may be viewed on. You can click on this link to go straight to the table, which we also have when I refresh now. You're going to see it right here. This is the one. It's also for 3,465. When I click on it, you'll be able to see it. The table. Of course, this is the table. I'm just going to click on exit grid view. Then I have it. Okay, fine. All right, thank you and bye for now.